Oh I, my God. I don't know if Tapaz is here. I haven't seen him yet, but... Uh, I haven't seen him around yet, no. But I think we're going to get uh, right into the first match here. Is this a button warmer or not? Oh, no, we're good. All right, All right we're, we're, we're good. All right. So we're going uh, House of 3000 Projo and Rien versus Protege and PB Juice from Adversary. Yeah, no, and the, and the thing is, it can... Uh, you know, as you know, Doubles uh, did remove the little, like, outliner, so mm -hmm. it can be a little bit confusing. And when you throw ink Inkling into the mix, it is hell on earth. Yes. As we see Protege just getting, getting kind of smacked and returning to try and cover Lucina. Yep, and now um, Protege and PB Juice uh, look like they're trying to play close to each other when they can, but right now, Protege off on the side with Rob getting... Duffed a little bit by Ryan. Is it Ryan or Rian? I don't know. Um, it's it's Ryan. Ryan. It's Ryan. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it's Ryan. For, I hope it is. <laughs> yep. But now you have you know you have a character like Two Linked, which does require space to play, mm -hmm. um, in a doubles match. Right there, beautiful up smash by Ryan. And I do like how he's giving you know because of the fact that these are both projectile characters, they are giving themselves a little bit of space to work with. Yes. Um, and another thing is that those projectiles are quite handy. Uh, Inkling Ink, uh, Lynx Bomb, Boomerang, etc. Very good for saving teammates right here. Uh, so it makes their disadvantage a little better uh, when you'll see right here. Although it looks like uh, Protégé is going to take the stage while PB Juice tries to go in on his own. And right now, right now, uh, Green Team is on the uh, uh, on the right side of the stage. Those damn tongue twisters, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Keeping it on, uh, Protégé trying to go for an edge guard against Projo, but no such luck. Catches the bomb, trying to keep him off, and runs headfirst into Ryan for a kill. Yeah, and I do like how Ryan actually threw Lucina off stage and mm -hmm. immediately went back to cover his partner and mm -hmm. get, secure that kill. And that's one thing that you have to know in doubles. It isn't always just about keeping the opponent away. It's about playing the 2v1 when you get the chance as well. And that's yes. super critical to, to victory. Absolutely. That's one of the most difficult things, right, is dividing your time with a game plan in mind. Right now you've got Ryan and Projo playing together right now. Projo's still capable of taking a stock at that time, but he's covering his team out well as does so. It always has ramifications on your fellow uh, player if you get knocked out of the way or knocked off screen, just like that, like Projo had. Oh, yeah, exactly. And right here, we see Ryan didn't even... Ryan is stock tanking super hard right now. And this match is kind of just one-sided right now. They need to cover these stocks, and they need to, they need to, they need to catch up with the stock, and they need to catch up with them fast. Yep. Now, you see Projo is actually trying to uh, baby the ledge a little bit here, trying to make sure that Ryan stays alive as long as possible there. And Ryan holding his own well against Juice. Oh, unfortunately, Juice getting covered by the platform, getting pineappled. And now Protégé is going Protégé hanging I mean, out. No stock uh, sharing right now. They might be debating it. They might think that he's better off on his own. We'll see. Okay, there it is. You're almost, if you're at 58%, you're almost, I mean, you're, I'm sorry. You're just almost never off, or, or never better off on your own. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Especially in this game where, like, you really, <laughs> like, skill, the skill gap is so much less. You know? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And especially, I would say, with, uh, Toon Link and Rob covering a lot. Was that a bomb confirm at that yep. percent? Oh! Yep. Bomb confirm, Zen. He Very nice. Has, he still has. Yo, so uh, <laughs> Projo and Ryan kind of running away with game one there. Yeah, no, but you know what the thing is? Because of the, because, like I said, like I wanted to, put, I, I pointed out oh, first. Yeah. Wait. Ooh. Let him oh, get, you've, um, they did. So look at, hold on. Let me get you. Yeah. Yeah, so that's bomb confirm on the punish right there. That was very clean, too. He was ready for that. Oh, he definitely knew. Mm -hmm. But they're, because they're both playing projectile characters, they both give each other the space that's necessary for their character to, to thrive, mm -hmm. you know? And they're both cognizant of this back the entire match. Hey, I want space. You want space. You know? Yes. Notice, they're never in each other's face. Bars, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, and that's, that's the funny thing, right, is that um, both Toon Link and Rob uh, cover a strange sort of area with their projectiles, right? Because Toon Link with his boomerang can angle it in such a way that can cover low, cover high. Uh, Rob the same with his laser. Gyro stays there on the ground for an extended period of time. Bomb is a constant threat that Link can toss around, etc. So it's a lot to keep track of both for the team you're playing on and for the team that's playing against it. Yeah, well, we'll see. And I think that if you, if you, like I said, I think that if you are green team, you're aware of that. You know, like you're aware of that. You're aware, you know what your projectiles look, at, look like and you know what his looks like. So I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> But it is doubles, so it can get a little crazy. Yep, and you actually see a punish right there. Ryan going for the side B on uh, Protégé's forward smash because it was in shield stun, hitting his own teammate, PB Juice's shield. Yeah, but right now, Lucy, Juice is giving Proto. Yeah, Projo. We got a lot of stuff going on. Ryan keeping Protégé at the corner, Projo at Juice's corner. Okay. 
They'll both meet in the middle. Oh, that's and good they roller. Both get hit. They both get hit, man. All right, but Juice is doing a, a good a good job of covering options here, as he has just using his, been using his sword to space. Unfortunate yep. recovery. Goes S for the beefy up B on a read that will knock him out. Yeah, man. All right, and like I said, look, they're already on the opposite side of the stage, and they keep on moving away from each other to kind of play this. Uh, they're playing pong. They're literally <laughs> just playing pong with yeah. uh, with yellow team at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right, right. and Ryan yellow is team just actually keeping Projo in the middle now. Speaking of. See, that's the thing, right, is I feel um, green team, Ryan and Projo, they've got a really good capacity to split up and center as soon as they see an advantage, whichever one that may be. Whereas um, Protégé and PB Juice, when they had, say, Projo or Ryan in the sandwich right there, they were maybe trying to keep an eye on the other one. Maybe the other one was still on stage and looking to zone. That sort of deal. Wow, he just stood there and took it. <laughs> Juice not reacting to, uh, to, to Ryan's option. <laughs> Oh. There's a lot of names. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's all good. I'm getting mixed too. Uh, all right. Projo trying to work his way in on Juice. Oh, two of them in the corner. One of them texts, and the other does not. He has to be, he has to be careful. And we do see a share stock immediately. And this match is insanely one-sided. Are they going to even take a stock? It's looking really grim right now for Protege. <laughs> he oh he my does the God. parry because he gets. Oh my God. No. Okay. Okay. Tech rolls away. That's right. nice. Right. We got we got there him we on go. the board. There we got go, him baby. on the board. Okay. Let's go. Two stocks. Take this man to elementary school. He knows how to paint. Did you say elementary school? Yeah, take him out of <laughs> elementary school. Put him in middle school. He knows how to paint. Now let's we'll see if he can work with the numbers. He's got four stocks left. Can he do it? I mean, it's at this looking, point, it looks pretty grim. Yeah, at this point, you want to go down swinging, right? Like, yes. At this point, you know, you, Speaking right. of swinging. Oh, yeah. At this point, you know, you, you kind of do got, just got to hold the L. But, like, you, you want to go out with something cool. Right? I'd, like, I'd say taking two stocks is pretty good. Like, my, my, man, my man said, I'm not going to go down like this. I, I well, need to take the stock. I, I do like the the option coverage by Ryan because if he would have jumped, he would have just got spiked down to the ground immediately. Yes, that was a good call. Yeet! Yep, so tosses him away with squid form. Actually, he didn't even use any ink, so I don't know what I was talking about by painting. <laughs> It's he collects okay. the ink back. It's okay. He's a painter. He's a painter. Mm -hmm. It works. That's it right. Works. He's got the creative soul, but unfortunately not the soul of a winner. Going to be knocked down to losers in round one. Yeah, I know for sure. And here we are going to have...